Jeb on YouTube, you see Boy Annoying TV. As you guys can see, I am now back from LA. And here we go to talk about NBA 2K19. You feel me? Now, the first thing you guys wanted me to talk about was shot meters, alright? Now, <clears throat> I've seen a lot of videos going around and a lot of tweets going around. People are really confused about the shot meters, you know what I'm saying? Now, Mike Wang even told me myself, he's like, yo, Annoying, tell your friends about these shot meters because if you're not telling your friends, they, they attacking me on Twitter, like, you know what I'm saying? So, here I am to tell you guys today, because there's a lot of confusion, a lot of misled videos, and it's not what you think it is, alright? Now, a lot of people think that all three shot meters are in the game. That is false. NBA 2K16, their shot meter is not in the game, okay? NBA 2K17, it is. But it's different, okay? NBA 2K18 is also a, an option that you can choose as a shot meter. And you can choose both. Now, if you ask me personal preference, I wouldn't choose both shot meters. It throws you off when I try to play it with both shot meters. It threw me off. And you just don't really even know what to look at. Like, I don't know whether to look at the head of my mod player. Because you guys know in NBA 2K18, the jump shot meter is like right here next to your head. Or I didn't know what to look at my feet. You know what I'm saying? Now... If you ask me, just personal preference, when I was playing the game, NBA 2K17 shot meter, I told you guys it's the best. The reason why I told you guys it's the best shot meter I think that 2K's ever had is because of the distance meter. Before you, you take your shot and you take your release, it tells you how far you are away from the basket and if like if it's if you're basically able to green your shot. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it shows, like, the little bar. I'll give an example, or I'll show you the actual 2K19 shot meter. You know what I'm saying? I got gameplay. You know what I'm saying? So, here you guys go right here. Here's the NBA 2K19 shot meter. As you guys can see, it's very similar to NBA 2K17. And it, it, it's under your feet. You know what I'm saying? And it still has that distance meter, what I was talking about last year. And I love it, okay? Now, NBA 2K18 shot meter is still an option if you guys would like to choose that. Um... Uh, I, I'm personally not going to just because it's my personal preference, you know what I mean? And, um, it is what it is. So, yes, you guys, NBA 2K17 shot meter is back, as well as 18, or you can pick both, okay? Now, again, it's too distracting with both. That's just my personal preference. You can choose on, on however you feel like you want to do, and that's it with shot meters, you know what I'm saying? Now, alright, y'all, so I'm back again playing NBA 2K19. And um, <clears throat> this is right before my flight. You guys can see, you know, we're back in the same little match. Nobody's really here, really. It's just me testing the game out. But um, as you guys can see right here, there's a new meter. You know what I'm saying? You guys can see right here that they have an 18 meter and like a 17 like meter as well. It's like kind of both. You see there's a meter at the bottom and an 18 meter at the top. So, I don't really know if we could alternate that, but that's something that's pretty new in the game. And then, uh, I also conf confirmed it right here, as you guys can see, how bank shots, like, it gives you that little 17 green light at the bottom as well, and 18 meter at the top, so that's pretty new. Um, I'm still looking through the controller settings, but this is just, you know what I'm saying, a little gimmick of how the jump shot meters will look. Um, I've already showed the badges, everything else. I'm still looking for for you guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm still looking for. Right now, I'm about to play. So, um, I'm I'm, I'm going to get you guys in a few. Dribbling. A lot of people were uh, asking me or were watching, like, clips of my, my live stream. They're basically asking, like, yo, can you speed boost? Uh, speed boost gone. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I asked the dev team personally about, about the dribbling. And um, he told me that it's this like it's not that much different from NBA 2K18. That it's really the same system. And um, I actually got called back after we went to go play the game early, and we were when we were discussing it. And um, I told him that I felt like I couldn't speed boost. Like I told them that, yo, you're saying speed boosting's in the game. But it kind of feels like patch 6 of NBA, like, 2K16. Like, when I was playing it, you guys remember NBA 2K16? And, like, you would kind of get that little little drag, you know what I'm saying? I told them it was basically, like, this, there was speed boosting, but it was a little bit too slow. That's basically what I was telling them. So I was telling them, like, yo, um, if possible, could you increase the game speed? And it was like, yeah, well, this is a beta version, so the game speed is a bit slower. So 
I think that they're going to increase the game speed when the game is officially released, okay? So, I'm not too worried about it because the way he was talking to me, he was like, yo, th there should be speed boosting. Like, th like, I don't know how you couldn't speed boost, you know what I'm saying? Like, basically, that's basically what he was telling me. So, speed boosting is, is in the game. That's, that's, that's something I can say, you know what I'm saying? Because they said, you know... The, the, the demo version of the game or the beta version that we played seemed a little bit slower than the actual like version of the game. So and um another thing that I noticed just overall gameplay wise is that 2K18 it kinda had the stiff live feel and uh people couldn't really like you know what I'm saying people were kinda irritated with it. I told them that yo um I told I tweeted out that it was 20% a little bit more arcade like like it's it feels like 18 but it's like less loose like it feels like you know what it feels like it feels like a 2k game you know what i mean i feel like nba 2k 18 felt like like it was too stiff you guys remember how 2k 17 or 2k 16 you didn't really have that much stiffness to the game um it, it this this 2k 19 feels like a like a 2k game i i feel like they kind of threw that kind of stiffness out of the water it's just not as stiff as it was before you know what i mean and um and again, when they called me back and, and asked for my suggestions, uh, I told them that it was a little bit more arcadey, but they need to arcade it a little bit more. Um, the reason being is because I, f I still feel like it was too tight. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it was, it needs to be more of a 2K game. Even though it feels like a 2K game, it feels more like it now. I feel like it needs to be more, like a little bit more arcade like and not as realistic. Now, Going back to the to, to the jump shot meters and the um the shooting, um one thing that I, I also when they called me back and I talked to them about was heavily contested greens. You guys know about NBA 2K18 how heavily contested greens were so bad. You know what I'm saying? I talked to um Mike Wang about that like personally, and um he's he told me that they're they're actually out of the game. So they finally learned their lesson on that. Heavily contested greens are 100% out of the game. He said. Look, you can make heavily contested, but they just won't be able to be a green release anymore. I said, look, I'm perfectly fine with that. Because my big issue with heavily contested greens were the fact that they were green. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind people making bogus shots. You know what I'm saying? It happens in every 2K. 2K17, 2, remember 2K16 when people used to do that little fade away and it was like super tight and it would just drop? It's like, yo, they happen very, very rare. So I'm not worried about it. As long as the fact that these heavily contested shots aren't green that's the only thing i'm proud about and it really shocked me that he actually told me that they were out of the game because of the fact that he had a poll and people actually wanted it in the game and um as as i was talking to him about that somebody else was like yo you took it out i think that heavily contested greens here to be back and i'm just like yo no like don't do that like no you know what i'm saying i don't know it's just me um the dev team said themselves that heavily contested greens are a very like touchy subject so um i can understand why they feel like they 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 don't want to touch it you know what i'm saying but um heavily contested greens is finally out the game that's one thing that i've been begging for them to do because i just don't feel like a shot should be perfect you know what i'm saying like i don't feel like your release should be perfect on a on a on a heavily contested shot i just don't think so um what else do we want to talk about? Um, badges, okay? Um, badges, when we check the badges, when we keep in mind, we only play quick game. I play two quick games again, Warriors versus Lakers, and then I only play till halftime. I was mainly just focused on um, getting information for you guys, okay? So, um, another thing that, that we saw with the badges that it's the same, you know what I'm saying? Same deep range dead eye, same uh, acrobat or whatever the badges may be. Now, all, keep in mind it's a beta version. That's what I was telling people when I tweeted it. Not all of their players like we looked at um, Lonzo. Lonzo had like one badge. Like you know what I mean? Like not everybody on the on the on the roster had badges. You know what I mean? And um, that's that's what it was with that. Now another thing that I also told uh, Mike Wang and he kind of disagreed with me was that I think that shooting was actually a little bit too hard. You guys might enjoy that, but some of you guys might hate that. We all love getting our greens, you know what I'm saying? But um, Los will probably tell you this too, if you wanna go ask him or tweet him. Um, I was playing against Los Polos, and as you guys saw when I was streaming it, um, we couldn't get a green. And um, we were playing on pro, pro difficulty, and we could not get a green. Like me and Los would intentionally leave each other open 
and cannot get a green, you know what I'm saying? And I was using Curry, and that's tough, you know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know if you guys, some of you guys might like that, some of you guys might not like that, you know what I'm saying? I love my greens, you know what I'm saying? But, um, Mike was like, yo, are you sure, man? You know, all right. You, you're a competitive player. Are you sure? Like, you sure you couldn't get a green? Because I see people getting greens. I'm just like, look, Mike, I'm trying to tell you, me and Lowe's were leaving each other intentionally open, and we cannot get a green. Now, I was also playing on um, the NBA 2K18 shot meter. I wasn't playing on 2K17. But um, I need to practice on 2K17 shot meter because I'm so used to 18, and the 17 shot meter is amazing. Um, another thing that I wanted to um, mention is layups have uh you can you can now do your layup timing you know what i'm saying they added a layup meter all right so as you guys can see you can have your shot timing on shots and layups and shots only it's very different you know what i'm saying vibration on off the option setting looks pretty default skip pass enabled i have no idea what that is you know what that is no idea so player icons you can have on icon leading pass on pro stick pass type Flashy or normal, I'm putting out a normal. Um, everything else looks about the same, y'all, to be honest with you. Yeah, everything else is pretty much the same. Me, personally, preference, just my preference, I don't like the layup meter, so I take it out, you know what I mean? Because I feel like every time there's a layup meter in a game, I feel like your layups get slower. Just, just to time it, you know what I mean? And I don't like that. I'd rather have a bad release on the layup, and me being wide open, it should go in. You know, and, um... That's that's basically that's basically what it is. You know what I'm saying? But um, back to the dribbling. A lot of y'all were asking me if I can momentum cross. Momentum crossing, momentum dribbling is still in the game. You know, um, same basically, basic, basically the same moves. You can step back, etc. Most of you guys were also asking me about the stamina. Um, stamina, it feels about the same as 2K18. Um, you don't you don't really get tired easily unless you excessive dribble. Um, but some of you guys, I don't know, some of you, I'm not really a dribble head, you guys know this, but some of you guys can dribble, 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 and like, it depends on archetypes as well. So if you were a playmaker or whatever the case may be, it also goes off that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, also, you guys, I forgot about jump shots as well. When you, um, when you have the option for your jump shot, like I said, you can have it by, uh, you can have it under your feet or 2K18 style, you can have both. There's also an option called real player percentage. Um, I also tried that out for a little bit and it's basically no shot meter. It's basically no shot meter and um, I didn't see where the percentage came up, but it might have popped up, you know what I'm saying? But it's, it's called real player percentage. Um, never tried it before. You guys can take whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? If you guys like percents, it might be, you know what I'm saying? It might give you the percentage of jump shot going in. I don't know, but you guys might like that as well. I'm still going to stick to my 2K17 shot meter. And um, as you guys can see, I gave you guys the information on um, the, the jump shot meters, the badges, the shooting, the dribbling. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you guys think, man. Um, as far as dribbling goes, like I said, I'm not a dribble head. I can't really go into detail. I could momentum cross. Uh, you can still hop step. The hop step is like 2K18. Um, behind the backs look nice. You know what I'm saying? It's much cleaner. But it was kind of it's kind of harder this year to dribble through people as well. Uh, I know last year was a was a big problem with dribbling through people. People wouldn't lose the ball. But um, that's kind of toned down a bit. Other than that, man, dribbling seemed fine to me. It looked good. Everything was crispy. You know what I'm saying? So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Let me know what type of videos you guys want next. Defense, rebounding, whatever the case may be. Let me know in the comment section. It's your boy Noah TV. I'm out.